We're going to construct perpendicular lines. This is lesson 3.4c. And the previous videos, in case you get lost, are linked in the geometry playlist at the end of the video or in the description. We learned to construct a perpendicular bisector in video lesson 3.4a. We're in 3.4c now. And this is the basis of the construction of a line perpendicular to a given line through a given point. And the steps we use in the construction are the same, whether the point is on or off the line. So what we do is copy the given line L and point P. We put the compass point on P and draw an arc that intersects L at two points and label the points A and B. So what we did was we took our compass point and we put it on P and we made an arc on L going through two spots here and here and we labeled them, labeled them A and B, okay? Then we construct the perpendicular bisector of segment AB and label the intersections C and D. Now, I said C and D so that you could follow me, but you don't have to label them. We know they intersect there, okay? Because we're just trying to make a perpendicular line. So what we're doing is from what we learned with the perpendicular bisector, we're just doing the same thing to make the perpendicular line. Now that we have this arc here and these two intersection points A and B, we put our compass on A and make a big, huge arc so that it comes all the way up here and all the way down here. Then we put it on B and make a big arc. And where they intersect, we use a straight edge to draw the perpendicular line through those intersections or through C and D, and it should pass through point P. And we can construct it even if point P is on line AB. So here point P is on line AB. So let's say there is no AB, okay? Let's say there are no points at the end. All we have to do is put our compass on P and make swoops in each, you know, a big swoop in each direction. So it's crossing the line here and it's crossing the line there, and then we can mark those as A and B, okay? What if it just said it was line L? and we didn't have A and B on here. You just put it here and find A and B by doing one huge arc that crosses at two places, A and B. We can label them. Then we can put our compass on A, make a big arc, put it on B, make a big arc, and where the two big arcs intersect, we use a straight edge to draw a line straight through it, and we made a perpendicular line. We use the same construction of a perpendicular bisector of a segment to construct a line perpendicular to a given line through a given point. So for the perpendicular bisector, it gave us segment AB. So we didn't have to do that first one to find the points A and B. It was already given to us. So we just put the point on A, make an arc, put the point on B, make an arc, and draw the line through it, okay? We're going to talk about rise, run, and slope of a line next. That's 3.5a, one of my favorite topics. I love teaching about slope of a line. So maybe I'll make it a little better for you since I like it so much. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Hit the like button if this helped you. Bye.